Have you seen this one before? No. I've seen many Chinese driver's license and it's not, they're not like these. No. His passport and driver's license will be forensically examined to check their authenticity, while a formal interview will be conducted with the passenger to determine how they came to be in his possession. Mr. Lee, can you tell me where you got your passport from? Did you have to fill out an application for the passport? No, I didn't fill out anything. Did she buy it of somebody else? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what about your driver's license? Can you tell me where you obtained that driver's license? Okay. He's not admitting to anything. So, Officer Alex puts forward his suspicions directly to the passenger. We believe that that driver's license itself is not genuine. We also believe that the passport is not genuine. Therefore, putting your whole identity into question. Claiming his wife gave him the passport and that he knows nothing, it will be taken for further analysis while the driver's license found in his luggage will also be inspected to determine if it is legitimate. One of our uh, checks is for UV. I put it under our UV light and it is not reacting in the way that I would expect. The paper is not UV dead. And there are other, more obvious telltale signs that this document is a fake. It's not normal for birthday to be written instead of date of birth against someone's biodata, so that also concerns me. I think uh, this man has a collection of fraudulently altered documents. To confirm Officer Barbara's suspicions, the passport is handed over to document examiners who will look for a number of sophisticated security features embedded throughout its pages. While they cannot all be revealed for security reasons, if these indicators are not found, then the document is not genuine. Our points of concern were the checksum, yep. the number on the That's top right. of that, yep. and there's some other features that we're also concerned about. We have sought advice from our document examiner, and they agree prima facie this is a fraudulently altered passport. Yeah, totally agree. Attempting to enter Australia under a false identity is a serious offence. And Border Force officers need to try and find out who this man is and what he is really up to. Uh, look, I want to know, your passport, no good. It's fraudulent. Your driver's licence, also fraudulent. Tell me about this. I don't know. My wife told me. Yeah, again, he's saying he doesn't know. Why has got it for me? Did you know that it was fraudulent? So he doesn't know anything about the passport, I'm not sure what happened, that's why I have the headache now. What about your wife's passport? I don't know, she has already gone through. She's already gone through. Officer Alex is surprised when the man reveals his wife was on the flight and passed through the primary line ahead of him. Interpreter, I'm going to be suspending the interview. Current time is 12.06 hours. Attention quickly turns to trying to locate the man's wife out in the arrivals hall. She's uh, born in 93. Uh, she, uh, she, stayed she is also time. traveling on a fake passport. Officers need to find her urgently before she leaves the airport. But officers suspect the woman he is referring to may not be his wife at all. It's possible um, that the woman is actually an escort. An escort in this sense is someone facilitating the safe entry um, into Australia of someone that um, may be under scrutiny by immigration authorities at the border. It's more than likely that this woman, seen here on airport CCTV footage, will be travelling on a genuine passport. But it's strongly suspected that she's been recruited to pose as his wife, to give the impression that they're a legitimate couple simply here for a holiday. No, no, I'm just going to go straight in and ask him. OK. After obtaining an image of the woman from airport security footage, Border Force officers step up their investigation. 
My colleague Ross has gone to the public area of the arrivals hall. We want to locate her, to identify her identity, find out a bit more about him and whether they are in fact actually husband and, and wife. Back in the interview room, Officer Alex questions the passenger about the woman. You stated that you're travelling with your wife. Uh, can you tell me how long have you been married? Twelve years. Twelve years. And she is your wife? Yeah. Yeah. Do you believe that she'll be waiting for you at the airport or would she have left? I don't know. Okay. The man is giving nothing away. But out in the arrivals hall, a female who says she's here to meet him has been located, but it's not his wife. So the onshore contact um, has identified Alex's passenger as, um, as her uncle that she met six years ago in China, a distant relative. Yeah, OK. It appears that the man's story, as well as his identity, may be completely fabricated. It's been confirmed that the woman he was travelling with holds a legitimate passport. But when officers check with the hotel that they're supposedly staying at, there is another reason to suspect this has all been an elaborate scam. We called to confirm the booking. Um, about 15 minutes ago, there was a booking in um, the passenger's wife's name. However, he was told that the booking had been cancelled about a minute before he rang. Oh, right. So this also adds to our concern that uh, the person claiming to be his wife is actually an escort. Border Force officers believe they have uncovered a very sophisticated plan designed to get the passenger across the border with a fake identity. He is issued with a notice of intention to consider cancelling his visa and given a final chance to offer an explanation. OK, Mr Lee, what is your response? Can I go back to China? I want to go home now. That's it. He finally admits that he knew the documents were fake, and it's a clear-cut decision for Border Force officers, and the man's visa is cancelled. As you are no longer the holder of a visa, you have been refused immigration clearance. You are now detained under Section 189 of the Migration Act.